hello and welcome back to my channel so today um, I thought I would do a vlog of um, diagnosis to treatment to how I'm doing now and um, just a little update video um, I've tried to do this about three times already and kind of got myself a bit upset um, I've kept the makeup on that I did earlier in my stream um, I'm really proud of myself for doing that um, it takes a lot of um, courage for me to do anything like that i'm not very confident i know i come off um confident um but believe me i'm not i'm i'm getting more confident from doing vlogs um i'm getting back into it now um so i've had a few that just want to um know my story again so i thought i would just do a quick vlog um so Back in 2013, um, I just started getting pain in my knee. So I couldn't put any weight on my right leg at all. Um, my knee had really swollen up. Um, so I went to go and see my local GP um, who put me on very strong painkillers. At the time, I was a carer in a nursing home so I had to be signed off because I was on um, controlled painkillers so I was on tramadol and then went on to morphine um, so for my safety and others I had to take some time off sick so from then up until 2015 I was going back and forth from doctor to doctor to specialist to specialist um, without them finding what was wrong with me. Um, I had lots of MRIs um, and I was getting to the point where I thought, is this in my head? Am I completely mad? Um, am I, you know, having psychosomatic symptoms? Um, and it was putting a lot of strain uh, on my relationship with my family, it really was. Um, but I had, I was very lucky and fortunate that I had a very strong relationship with who is now my husband, was my boyfriend at the time. Um, and I tell you what, me going through um, from treatment to diagnosis, and then treatment, and then to now, it has made us so much stronger, it really has. Um, and we got married in June last year. So that just shows you that if you're going through a rough patch and you feel that, you know, it's putting a strain on your relationship, that it can sometimes make your relationship stronger. Um, he has supported me so much. So back and forth. And then finally, um, I got a letter to go and see another specialist um, and this specialist was a spinal consultant because in the end they thought could it be something wrong with my spine that maybe they had missed so I was lucky to get perhaps you can say a second opinion so this specialist saw me and he looked at me like you know how you get some doctors that look at you and think Mm, okay I'm not quite sure about you I've just read through your notes uh, all that stuff so I explained where I got the pain um, he examined me um, and then after all of that I was in a lot of pain because he was pushing pulling me you know like they have to check you if they if they haven't seen you before and then he got me to stand up and then he did what I now know is the pressure point test that we have here. I, it might be a different test in another country, but this is what we have here. So he did all the pressure point test um, and he was just pushing on me and I thought, what, what's he doing? And every time he was like, does it hurt here? And I'm like, ow, um, does it hurt here? Ow. Um, so he pushed all of the points on my body and I said that all of them hurt and um, so he then went on his computer and then he brought up um, fibromyalgia and he said um, has anyone said that maybe you could have fibromyalgia and I said uh, what's that 
I've never ever heard of that. Um, so he showed me um, and then the symptoms were matching up and he said, well, you've got 18 out of 18 pressure point um, pain. So I was like, okay, so what does that mean? Do I have this or do I not? And he said, well, from what I can see, you do. And then I not had this before. That this specialist turned around the screen and showed me one of my MRIs and I could see that there was an issue with my hip as well and I never seen that before and I was thinking so it's not in my head um, and the first thing I did was I called my my boyfriend who's now my husband um, I called I called him I told him um, I said well um, you never guess what um, they've actually found out what's wrong with me and he's like really really they've actually they actually know what's wrong with you and I'm like yeah um, and then I find my dad and then my mum and then my best friend um, one of my best friends her mum has the same illness and she said well I've always thought perhaps maybe you had that illness but I didn't want to say anything you know just to get your hopes up but uh, I was so glad when I got that diagnosis because I thought right what can I do now to make myself better um, and since then I've been trying to improve um, get back to my fitness as well um, I used to go to the gym with my mum about seven years ago um, every single day um, and I was very very fit back then um, I used to have a personal trainer um, I love trying to be as active as I can but I just I can't do it at the moment and it really frustrates me because I know you're going to look at me right now and you're going to say there's nothing wrong with you, you look absolutely fine but I assure you um, I will spread more awareness about this illness and you will get to know me in my vlogs. Um, I've only just started doing some vlogs with no makeup on at all and um, so you're going to see the difference maybe a couple of weeks will make for me um you know anyway i will see you in my next vlog and you all take care and i'll let you go now bye